Hey guys, what's up? Peter here. So today I want to share with you a mini list of three fragrances. Uh, three that I've been wearing a lot lately and these are, in my opinion, perfect grab-and-go scents um, because they all share something in common which is this kind of watery aquatic nature uh, and yet they smell, they're not your traditional you know, aquatic type scents. Um, they're in fact woody, um, well, actually all three of them are sort of woody scents um, and yet have this aquatic feel. They're uh, scents that sit closer to the skin and so they're going to be scents that are very um, you know, inoffensive and you can feel very safe wearing them um, anywhere including you know, a, a closed kind of office space. Um, and they're all very, you know, I think mass appealing scents. Um, at the same time, like I said before, they are unique. So I think um, that's why I've been reaching for these a lot because as fragrance enthusiasts, we want to, you know, every day wear something that, that we can really like enjoy thoroughly. Um, but at the same time, it's tough to wear heavier scents um, at work, um, in indoor settings, because not everyone likes fragrances and that's just the fact, right? Um, and some people are just a lot more sensitive. So that's why I think these are three great choices. Um, so let's start with the first one. Yeah, so the first was actually my scent of the day, which is um, the only one I've tried from this brand. Uh, and I'm using this kind of, um, you know, decant here from Commodity, Fra Commodity Fragrances. This is Commodity Moss. Now this, uh, I would say, you know, it's almost a misnomer to me. Uh, so, so when you hear the word moss, you know, you think of um, oak moss maybe, you think of the traditional, uh, you know, more old school masculine sense or heavier sense, maybe a little animalic. This is none of those things. In fact, the star of the show here for me is bergamot. This has, you know, the juiciest bergamot opening and it's these fragrances that remind me um, of fragrances like I always fr compare a lot of fragrances to Le Labo's Bergamot 22 um, because I think Le Labo's Bergamot 22 has one of the best openings this um, balance of bergamot and vetiver, vetiver you know surprisingly not so many fragrances you know replicate that opening now this one I would say the opening um, and it's a linear scent so uh, you know I wish that that powerful kind of blend in the opening would last, you know, on and on and on, but it doesn't. Um, because like I said, these are kind of closer scents, um, softer scents, but that opening has to be, I don't know, the top, you know, just one of the best openings um, that I've ever smelled. You know, I have no complaints about that scent. I think it's just flawless. It's basically, in fact, I think they should list it's almost like a watermelon note like a true watermelon note um so refreshing uh it's dewy uh and probably because it has that uh, a more of a woody mossy undertone but but just a beautiful top and that's basically what you get and even as it dries down it, you retain that sort of watery characteristic so that's how i would see the scent um as sort of a everyday you know you could say signature scent, wear everywhere. Uh, and I think you're gonna get a lot of compliments with this kind of scent. You'll notice um, I'm not going in depth into the notes of these scents um, because I think it matters less for this kind, this, the, this video that I'm doing. Um, and also these are, in a way, they're unique but simplistic scents. Um, so I just wanna give you sort of the highlights and it's very easy to describe. Um, and I think these are scents that everybody's gonna like. So. Um, very easy to recommend. Now the next one is from Comme des Garçons. A viewer recommended this. This is Comme des Garçons um, from their, it's called the Cologne Series 4 collection. Uh, and this one is Vere Veru, uh, basically Vere Veru 2. Um, that's the official name, Vetiver, their Vetiver fragrance. This one, um, what you have to know is an Eau de Cologne. Um, so it's a lighter concentration. So when I first tried this, I actually, um, thought my first reaction was oh man uh, it's way too watery way too light this wasn't really you know the vetiver that I was looking for um, at the same time I, I appreciated that there was uh, that, that it did have that exact smell I wanted which was 
you know, uh, if you've smelled Guerlain Vetiver, I think Guerlain Vetiver is a perfect signature scent and it's really one of the, what I consider masterpieces in, in perfumery. Um, nothing exactly like it, the way it's blended. But the only one issue I had uh, with that is it can smell for a lot of people dated. I think because, you know, it has such a strong uh, earthy vetiver scent that is almost spicy and peppery. Um, so it, it, to me, I, it always, I always thought it felt kind of hot um, and, and while refreshing because of the really sharp, you know, citrus opening. Because of that pepperiness, uh, and there's also tobacco in there, you know, it weighed it down a little bit to where, you know, sometimes I wasn't wearing it as much as I, I'd like, right? But every time I would smell it, it would be sort of like, wow, this is a masterpiece scent. Um, and nothing has ever, you know, really been exactly like it. This one, you can look at it as basically, I think, um, and I read a comment like, you know, saying the same thing on Fragrantica, which is how I thought of it too. But this is an exact kind of blend between Guerlain Vetiver and Encre Noir. So I was never a fan of the original Encre Noir. Um, I, yeah, I think it's a little bit of an overhyped scent for me. You know, I loved um, Encre Noir Sport and that's because that has more of a citrusy opening. It's just more balanced and, and fresh. Um, it has watery notes. This one, so the opening, instantly reminded me of Guerlain Vetiver. It has that classic citrus vetiver, really almost like, you know, um, yeah, a European type of type of feel, right? Uh, in those, like maybe like a tweed jacket. So it has that DNA, but at the same time, it's not as piercing as Guerlain Vetiver. Um, and the citrus also, yeah, is, is not as bright. You detect that it's sort of like, it's a more muted version. It has this, whoa, you know, it smells like Guerlain Vetiver, it's all good, and then it's quiet. Uh, that's where the kind of Encre Noir comparison comes in. It has the same, um, almost a hollow, empty, you know, feel that makes this, a, that gives it a darker characteristic, a more, also more damp um, quality. So, yeah, instead of all of this dryness, this one I would say has a little bit more of a damp feel. Um, yeah, and it just reminds me, it, it smells very, like, it smells exactly like, you know, when it's um, after it's rained and you're in the outdoors, uh, you know, um, and you smell kind of the wet trees and soil, um, the smell that, that they're giving off, right? Uh, so you get that kind of feel, I think, with this, um, with that sweetness and citrusy element that makes it, you know, overall a wearable, very balanced scent. Um, and this one, yeah, I didn't even go back to sort of the first thing I said, which is I thought it would be <coughs> way too light. Um, but surprisingly, while it's a very close scent, you know, especially if you spray on, on um, your clothes, it kind of, it, you know, it has really good, uh, I would say, la lasting power. Like it, you'll smell it throughout the whole day pretty much. It just will be very close to you. So not bad at all. And in fact, I think it's, you know, perfect for the function that it, that it serves. All right. So there you go. I think this is a great choice um, and relatively unique because, like I said, it takes the best of Encre Noir and Guerlain Vetiver. All right, guys, so the last on this list, uh, this collection, if we will, is Issey Miyake's um, O and Cedre. So basically water and cedar. Um, already, you know, the name captured my interest. Uh, I think the idea of a woody, woody fragrance, right? Wood-centered fragrance that is fresh, wearable, um, and simple and really drawing on just a few notes, note highlights is, is sort of, yeah, what drew me here. Um, I'm gonna spray this one because I have, you know, room on my arm. Yeah. So yeah, this, I think this is unique um, and I think this is a great release. Uh, you might be surprised to hear the perfumer behind this is Marie Salaman, who's the perfumer behind, um, I think the entire Atelier des Or fragrances. Uh, so you've got an all-star, you know, perfumer here. 
and you can definitely smell that there's a unique touch that, that you don't get from uh, more generic scents. Um, first off, you know, you, it's going to smell like, it's going to smell somewhat similar to a lot of scents, freshies that you smell in the department stores. But for me, like I said, it's different. Why? It's because of this really um, crisp kind of cedar note. It, it has this smell of, you know, freshly shaven wood uh, at the same time exactly as, you know, it advertises you've got this watery um, element as well. Um, and you've got, you know, fair bit of like sweetness here and don't think of sweetness like vanilla and ambers, you know, I'm talking about a fresh sweetness, right? A dewy quality just like commodity musk. It, that, the kind of sweetness that you get from fruits um, and this the best maybe kind of metaphor I have for it is this reminds me of this smells like raindrops, right? So if you could capture the smell of, you know, raindrops um, and, you know, sometimes, you know, there's their, their hand soaps that, that list the smell as, as rain or whatever, right? This is this, that kind of smell, right? That smells like fresh rain, um, a bit of a, I guess, linen-like quality, if you will, but ultimately this is a cedar note that you're getting. Um, yes, you know, somewhat synthetic, but, but again, it smells damn good. So I think this is another one that's gonna give you compliments. This is actually an eau de toilette intense, and it does seem like that to me. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what concentration that means. Supposedly, you know, obviously more concentrated or intense than a typical eau de toilette. Yeah, this definitely is an intense, fresh scent. Um, so that's a good thing in this case. I know a lot, the, the other ones I, I told you about were more subtle, but this one's gonna give you a little more push. Um, they're all, you know, gonna get you compliments because these are fresh and likable scents that people are not used to smelling exactly. The other thing I'll say about this smell is that, so there is what makes it yeah, I guess masculine um, and what makes it more balanced is there's this peppery smell to it as well um, a, that, that is, it gives it the kick, right, that you need um, probably from, you know, the use of vetiver uh, that gives it, yeah, that classical masculine DNA. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there will be more to come and hope to see you in the next few videos. Bye.